But in central London, certainly since September, uh, we've seen a marked increase in uh, returns to uh, the centre of town. Anyone who's tried to uh, make a restaurant booking over the past couple of months, I think, will uh, uh, will testify to just how busy central London is. But we're really seeing uh, a strong and sustained return to the office. Uh, we're at around, uh, in the mid middle of week now, probably around two thirds of pre-COVID levels. So uh, really quite a strong bounce. And what that's meaning is that uh, occupiers, employers are more confident now in making decisions about the space that they that they want to lease. And those were decisions that were being put off over the past 18 or so months. So if you look across the London office market as a whole, uh, the amount of space that's now under offer to occupiers that'll be leasing that over the next three to six months is now back above where it's been on average over the past 10 years. And in our own portfolio, we've seen a lot of activity. I've spoken to a lot of our occupiers. And what they're asking is, is not how much space they need, but how do they need to use that space to be able to make sure they can attract the right caliber of staff and retain the right caliber of staff for them to be competitive uh, in the long term. Can I ask you about the competition? Because I was talking to an executive recently who was calling out uh, some of the new models that have come to the market and how useful they are because they're quite flexible when you're taking office space across a number of different countries, for instance. If you're not using enough space in one country, you can use uh, some of the credits and the money that you would have spent and, and put it in another country where you might want to bulk up. How flexible are your models and are you seeing a lot of competition in this space from rivals trying to offer up uh, the right leasing model for some of their uh, office customers? Yeah, there are three things I think that we hear consistently back from our office customers that's really important to them with regards to uh, their space. One is quality, uh, two is sustainability, and the third is flexibility. Um, and I think this is a sector that has seen quite a lot of innovation in that space over the last uh, five or so years, but I think it's also right uh, to see quite a lot more. So um, having access to flexible space, I mean, we have uh, a small but pretty rapidly growing flexible office products of our own called Mayo. What we're finding in some of our office locations in uh, the centre of London is we've got occupiers that will take multiple floors from us ourselves, but they also want access to our flexible products so that they can scale up and scale back depending on their demands, whether that's special projects, whether it's conferences, large meetings, whatever it may be. So I think flexibility is definitely here to stay. And for a business like Landsec to be successful for the long term, uh, we need to be able to respond to those customer needs. So quality, sustain uh, sustainability and flexibility are the three watchwords of those customer needs. And I think we as a business uh, feel really well placed to respond to those.